morning and welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. Um, in this video I'm going to be harvesting mustard greens and freezing them. We have a lot of mustard greens, way more than we can eat fresh, so a great way to save them to put in eggs or soup is to freeze them and then you just cook them when they're frozen. Like you defrost them then you cook them and then it's good. So I'm going to be doing that. I have a video about freezing kale but I figured it'd be good to do one about mustard too. I don't think there's much difference but we're going to do it. So I brought a basket and first we're going to harvest the mustard. So I'm going to harvest the outer leaves, but I don't want to harvest all the leaves because I want to make the plants, I want to still let the plants be able to grow. So this is like one plant. So I'm going to leave eh, like some small leaves on. And then same for this plant. I'm going to harvest a lot of the big leaves. But I'm going to leave some leaves so that it can continue to grow. Wow, we sure got a lot of kale. Alright, so now that I brought the kale inside, I'm going to wash it in the sink and then we're going to lay it on a towel to like sort of dry and then we'll blanch it and then we'll freeze it. I washed all of the kale and got all the little caterpillars off and I took the stem part, like the big rib thing in the middle and I took that out of all of them and I ripped them up into small pieces and put them in a bowl and now it's time to blanch them. So like the kale, that we did a few months ago. I'm going to take the mustard and put it in the boiling water for two minutes and then take it and put it in the ice water until it cools down and then take it and put it in this colander that's in the bowl so it can drain. And that is how to blanch it. And then I'm going to take it more and then put it in the hot water and let that sit for two minutes and then put it in the ice water for until it cools down and then put it in the colander and that's what I'm going to do. So after I put the mustard that had been in the ice bath I put it in the colander, and then I took the colander, brought it over here by the sink, and made little balls. They're about like a tablespoon big. Uh, so I took a good amount of mustard in my hand and squeezed it over the sink to get all the extra water out from And then I shaped it into a ball and put it on a, this cookie sheet. And I'm now going to put the cookie sheet in the freezer.